Good evening, guys. Thank Good you. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Good evening. Just let me open here the presentation for you. I'm going to close this one and open the presentation for today. So tell me, how are you doing today, guys? How was your day? And it was an excellent day. Oh, really? Okay. Can you share because, with us why? Because it began to rain in, in La Union. Oh. We receive a, we receive a shower. Hey, a shower. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, actually, here it was cloudy, and <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, there was a point in the afternoon, like around like around two forty five in the afternoon, and I heard, you know, on the roof, um, some drops you know, some raindrops. And then I ran to the yard where, you know, the, the, the clothes are hanging and I just grab, you know, all the hangers and uh, put, it, put them on the bed. And as soon as I put them on the bed, it stopped raining. So, and after that, <laughs> it was, it, there was a heat, you know, it was very, very hot. And, and I had to yeah. uh, go and pick up my daughter uh, to, um, I mean, to pick her up from school. So it was terrible. It was a heat that, uh, I, I, I just don't want to remember. So, but that's just the beginning. So the principio de lo que viene, right? So, yeah. but I'm yeah. glad, yeah. I'm glad okay. actually. I'm glad too, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining today. We have our session number, uh, well, let me see, 8, 9, 10, 11, right? So yeah, session 11. Tomorrow we have our session number 12. We're finishing next week, right? As I was sharing with you before, um, I was told that actually we do not have more sections to complete in the platform, verdad? Entonces, let me know. Um, did all of you complete uh, your sections in the platform, guys? ¿Está todo ya completo? ¿O hay algo que hace falta? ¿Alguna pregunta? Anything that you need me, right, to explain or to help you with so you can have all the material, you know, uh, complete? Anyone? Complete. Excellent. Very good. Yeah, because if you have any problem, any issue with any of the sections, you can let me know. El, durante la semana fue que me estuvieron escribiendo, eh, diciéndome que les hiciera el recordatorio porque no, pues no todos estábamos, ¿verdad? Con la información completa. No con la información completa, sino más bien con las secciones completas, right? And so far... If you can uh, go ahead and finish what we have in the platform, that would be wonderful. S yeah, because next week, la próxima semana, ya no tendríamos, ¿verdad?, que, que, que hacer más, okay? Así que let's go ahead and pass the attendance, and after that, we're going to begin. So, Alba Dir Portal Díaz. Eh, uy, give me a second. What happened here? Hmm. Present teacher. Thank Sorry. you. No, don't worry. It's okay. Alba de Portal Diaz. Ajá, aquí está. Hoy sí. So, thank you so much. Eh, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Ana Francisca García Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present teacher. Thank you. Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Eh, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. José Francisco Peña Peña. Eh, Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. María Susena Ayala de uh, Flores. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Nady Ives Mendez Alveño. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Present, Rodri present. Ahí está. Eh, Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa María de Milagro Pérez de Paz. Present. Sí, Rodrigo, ya lo agregué. Rosa María de Milagro Pérez de Paz. Eh, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Jensi Marlene León López. Present teacher. Thank you. Zulma Beatriz Pérez Caldames. Present. Thank you very much. Now, let's take a look in here. There's a message. Teacher, I have problems. Ah, okay, Sandra. Sure. Yep. Hey, Jose Jovito, present. Voy llegando. Ah, okay, Jose Jovito, ahorita. Uh, ya lo agregué. Thank you so much. Okay. Who's that? Hi, Mr. Roberto. Yes. Oh, okay. very good. Thank you so much. Anyone else that just joined the class? Okay. It says, Chair, I have a problem with exercise 4.8, part 2, number 2 and 3. No worries, Sandra. Ya ahorita vamos a revisar. Solo déjeme y voy a dejar cargando aquí la plataforma because sometimes it takes, you know, some minutes to um, load the information, right? So don't worry. I'll help you with that. Uh, well, Yesterday, we stopped here, guys. We were talking about um, reducing uh, time clauses, right? In this case, using adverbs, you know, of, of time, right? And I explained how, you know, we can reduce them. And the ones that are in the list, there is a list, right, that um, it's not included. So... In here, right, you can find the ones that are or can be combined with um, with those adverbs. So we have after, right, while, right after, before, and right before, or before, uh, yeah, right before. So just, if I have those, I can go ahead and reduce time clauses, right? So uh, let me see. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Give me a second, I'm going to just reply here. Give me a second. Okay. So, um, yes, it seems that we're having, you know, connectivity problems, right, uh, today, good in the evening, I don't know why. But let's see, uh, we were saying, I'm sorry, that whenever we have those, I can go ahead and reduce, right, the, um, the, 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 the clause by removing the subject, right, or in this case, uh, yeah, the subject, or the I don't want to say the pronoun. Yesterday I said the pronoun, but actually it's the subject that it, the one that I drop. But if I have time clauses that include adverbs of time, such as ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment, if I have all those five, right, I'm not going to do it. Why? Because it's not applicable, right? It's not applicable. En español nosotros decimos no aplica. En inglés decimos it's not applicable. Right. Uh, what else? ¿Qué más dijimos? Uh, well, we uh, were checking the examples, right? And also we said that whenever we reduce time clauses, we need to add ing to the verb. Okay, we need to add ing to the verb. Why? Because we are going to be working with gerunds. Why? Because I'm removing, you know, the, the, the subject there. So I need to be careful uh, with the ones that I'm using. So what else? ¿Qué más vimos ayer? Well, uh, it says complete the sentences with information about yourself. So I really liked this activity because you were sharing with me, right? Those uh, things that you do whenever that situation comes up. And we stop here, right? So today, y aquí tengo el... Aquí tengo el post right? So today you have homework, right? And you were going to prepare 
pieces of advice, okay? Pieces of advice for the different colors. So yesterday you gave me some suggestions for color, for color number one. And she said that she's been working day at night on an important project. It's going well, but it says I'm feeling so worn out. I'm worried about my health. So you gave me some suggestions. What about color number two? Color number two says, I get so nervous before I have to give a presentation that I can't sleep the night before and that I'm not at my best. Okay, Eliu, tell us. Okay, I, you should prepare the presentation before beforehand mm -hmm. and the night before just make a rough review. Okay. You understood? Yes, yes, uh huh. Like, uh, I, I, do you have a quick review? Like, okay, you should prepare the presentation beforehand. Uh huh. And the night before, just make a rough review. Ah, uh, a draft review is what you said? A rough, rough. Can you spell uh, it? R A F T, rough. Oh, raft. Raft, um, give me a second. You got me there, Eliu. You got me, because actually I have never heard that before. I mean, that's R-A-F-P, right? Yep. Let me see. Mm. Give me a second. No, I can't find a meaning for that one. Como una superficial eh, revisada. Así. Mm -hmm. Quizá mm -hmm. me equivoqué la palabra yo. Yeah, because Entonces, I have typed it, but I'm not able to, to mm -hmm. find something. Lingui. Let me see with lingui. Uh, yeah, because actually superficial. Let me see what, what the options are for lingui with that word. I have uh, explanation. Uh, no, no, solo superficial. Vamos a ver. Surface, superficial, shallow. Esto me suena más. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Cursy, sketchy, uh, skim, skimpy. Mm. Yeah, so probably it's a different word, uh, Leo. Yeah. But yeah. yes, but but actually, I totally agree with the piece of advice you're sharing with you because, and that's something I always recommend to my daughter, right? Do not wait for the day of the presentation, for the day of the homework assignment delivery to prepare or to get ready. So as mm -hmm. long as you prepare things, as you said, beforehand, day by day, you just dedicate some minutes, even it could be minutes. It doesn't have to be hours, right? Minutes or at least half an hour or an hour to your projects. Once, you know, the day finally arrives, you are more than ready. But if you wait until, you know, the last minute to do something, my goodness, right? You will be in trouble. So, yes, I agree with you. Thank you very much, Elu. And let's listen to more you. pieces. You're welcome. Let's listen to more uh, pieces of advice, guys. What about the rest? What do you think? Okay, okay go ahead, Sulma. Okay. I advise you to introduce your project uh, to God, and I have a cup uh, of hot tea and uh, warm milk, and to help to you rest. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Let me see if I can find something like this. Uh... Let me see. I think there is even a verse about it. Um, the verb is cast, but let me see if I can find a different verb. You use trust, right? Usted usó trust. Sí, in trust. Mm -hmm. Pero no sé si es como encomendarse a Dios. Es mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I think it is like that. Let me see. Trusting God. Ah, and trust. You are totally right. Mm -hmm. And trusting God. Okay. And trust to God, it says. So, look, I'm going to share it with you. So, lo voy a compartir. No, yes, actually, I'm learning too. So, it says... Eh, Ay, no, creo que copió todo, no copió en realidad el, lo que yo quería compartir. Give me a second. Let me see if I can just share. Just a little piece over here. Ahí está, okay. So if you see on the image, it says, eh, entrust to God. Eso sería el, el, la frase, ¿verdad? You can entrust to God, right, and, 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 and hope for the best. Right. Bueno, nosotros decimos encomendarnos, ¿verdad? Y esperar lo mejor. Hope for the best. We need to hope. Hope. Hope for the best, right? Okay, I like that one. Very good. Thank you, Sulma. What about uh, anyone else? Anyone else that has or wants to share a piece of advice to this person? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Well, uh, my advice is about maybe take a pill and a cup of tea after, before uh, to go to the bed. I think that is a good solution. Yes, very good. I like that one. Especially if you have um, everything ready, right? The best thing to do if you feel anxious is to drink some tea, some chamomile, Creo que están las dos pronunciaciones. Está chamomile en chamomile, creo yo, que es el de manzanilla. Right? So you have to drink some chamomile tea and, uh, or, you know, probably uh, something to, to calm down your nervous system, right? So, yeah, definitely. I love that one. So at once you wake up, you know, next day you will be fresh and renewed, right, to deliver your presentation. Very good. Anyone else? Maybe. Maybe uh, a pill about muscle relaxant. I don't know if it is correct. That Which one? Muscle relaxant. Ah, um, yeah. Ah, muscle, muscle, muscle. Mm -hmm. Good question. Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, let me see. How do you say relajante muscular? Ah, okay, okay. Aquí está, mire. I found it. In English, we say muscle relaxer. Okay, a muscle relaxer. Muscle. Esa C que vemos ahí es muda, ¿verdad? Muscle. Muscle relaxer or muscle relaxers are a group of drugs that have a sedative effect and may be prescribed for back, neck, and other musculoskeletal pain, right? Okay, good question. Ya sabemos cómo decir la gente muscular. Muscle relaxer. Very good. Anyone else? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. No? Okay, very good. Now, let's move on to number three. We have color number three. <clears throat> let's see. It says, oops, give me a second. No encuentro la pantalla. Okay, where is the screen? Give me a moment. Um, where, ah, está. Okay, so caller number three, right? I always put off studying until the night before the test. I stay up all night studying. But after that, I still don't know where don't do very well, right? So after studying, I always get bad scores because I studied one night before. So what are the pieces of advice that you would give to this person or student, right? Anyone? Okay, go ahead, Eliu, and then Sulma. Thank you. Okay. You should study every day the most 
important topic. Mm -hmm. And a day before the test, just mm -hmm. make a general review. Okay, I like that. Very good, huh? Yeah, because if you leave all the difficult topics one day before the exam, most likely you are not going to be able to remember everything. That's correct. Thank you so much, Elio. What about you, Sulma? Okay, you can to study for about uh, 14 minutes uh, a day. Mm -hmm. And you take quizzes about... Uh, Como decir, este... To practice? Oh. Cuestionarios, hacer como cuestionarios. Prepare. The thing is, like a, a, a question, it's a questioner, right? Questioner. But not pretty sure. Questioners for studying. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Questionnaire. Podemos usar cuestionar también para los para los exámenes. Look, ahí se la escribí, se la dijiste en, en el en el en el chat. So questioner. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So yes, uh, actually, I totally agree. I'm sorry, I was ans I was replying. To your uh, to your classmates okay and yes i totally agree guys i mean you have to dedicate if you want to get good scores obviously there are always talented people that do not need to do that but if you're like me we need to probably to organize ourselves right so we would need to study a little bit you know every single day and like not leaving everything until you know one day before the exam okay and questionnaires are very important at least they helped me whenever it's a difficult topic and it's a lot of information, right? Um, or what you can do is to explain things to someone else. Actually, that's, that was my strategy, my study strategy. That was all the time. Yes, Claudia, Marce, Marce Diam. Marcia. Sorry, <laughs> I, I was on mute. Okay, this person should be more organized and try to plan his day to day. Yeah, that I is agree. my advice. I agree with you, definitely. Uh, I mean, you cannot, well, and that's something that I want to apply to my life. I've been trying, you know, to be organized, but, you know, sometimes I, I, get it sometimes I fail but you know I always you know carry an agenda with me so I type everything otherwise I mean I for I forget things right and it's not that we need to train the brain but it's just that sometimes um, those are the type of things probably that <laughs> don't go with your personality in this case my personality right so if you plan your day uh, day to day activities that's going to be a lot easier for you to get better results very good. Now, anyone else for caller number three? Caller three? No? Okay. Let's move on to caller number four. It says, whenever my friends call me late at night, we talk for hours and hours. The next day, I can't keep my eyes open. So you're falling asleep. So what? Pieces of advice would you give to this caller? Volunteers. Okay, thank you, Elio. Okay. I'll try. Mm -hmm. You should put rule, rule that both of you cannot talk more than five or ten minutes. I like it. I like it. Yes. Uh, I don't know if for cut. Yeah, maybe you can use a sand wash. You understand what I, what I tried yeah. to say? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. A For sand cut, clock. A, a sand clock, yes, yes. A sand clock. For cut when the time accorded, or when the time accorded, I don't mm -hmm. know, accorded, or, or the time of five minutes, finish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Um, and, and, and you know what? It's difficult because it happens to me, for example, when I talked 
with my sister, but I think it's difficult for me because I know she's living somewhere else and that her schedule is not the same as my schedule and that if she's calling me or texting me, it's because she has time uh, at that specific moment. So it's kind of, it kind of, kind of breaks my heart whenever I do not, you know, answer or I do not reply because I said probably this is the only time she has available, but but obviously you are not going to spend hours, you know, in that activity. So you must stop and do something about it. And good piece of advice, Elio. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Okay, Claudia, Marcela. If I were he or she, uh -huh. I will be responsible with myself and understand that I need to sleep at least seven or eight hours. Mm -hmm. And I will tell them that I'm tired i need to rest and that I, that is my advice yes very good one we need to be understandable right we need to have common sense dicen por ahí, ¿verdad? common sense will tell us that probably that's not the best time to call right and that the person needs to rest as marce was saying right so um if you are not feeling sleepy if you have insomnia right so that's you so don't you know um i mean involve the other people around you right so probably look for a better time to call or just tell the person you know what i love whenever we talk but please call me you know between this time and this time because if you call me at that time I will probably, I'll, I'll be probably sleeping already. So I wouldn't be able to answer. So it's like you set boundaries, right? And in El Salvador, guys, I think that's very sad because whenever you say something like that, for instance, right? Let's say that I am this person in problem and this friend is calling me very late at night and I answer, right? But it gets to a point where I said, no, this cannot continue. And I come and I said to this person, you know what, dear friend, I love whenever we talk. I like talking to you, listening to you, knowing what is going on with your life. But please call me between 5 p.m. and um, 7 p.m. because I'm going to go to bed early, right? So I'm going to bed early and I don't think it's a good idea, you know, to talk for that long. But if you want to call me during the day and if I have, you know, the chance to answer, I'll be, you know, there for you, right? Y cuando uno dice cosas así, cuando uno pone límites, when you set boundaries, what happens? People get mad at you and they say, ay, que creído, o ah, que se cree tal cosa, cuando en realidad no es eso, sino que no hemos aprendido en el, acá a que debemos de poner límites, right? To set your boundaries and to tell what you like and what you don't like, right? That's why whenever you listen to that, to, to those things, do not act that, act that way. Just understand, be understandable, be empathetic with yourself on your, I mean, on your friend's shoes or other people's shoes, and you will be able to understand them better. Okay, good job, guys. So I'm going to move to the question. I think we have already worked on that. Creo que ya habíamos trabajado esa parte que nos mencionaban acá. Let me see. Just let me see, I think. Oh, en que, perdón, en que fue, en que chat fue, fue en Zoom, verdad, que lo mandaron. I can't find it. Ah, que está, sí, 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 sorry. Dice section 4.8, ajá, uh -huh. 4.8, part 2, number 3 or 4. Let me just duplicate this page. I'm going to put it here. So 4.8, and that's number 2, right? Number 2, number 2 and 3. Two and three. Okay, very good. So tell me, what is the inconvenience that we have here, eh, Sandra? ¿Le da eh, algún error? ¿Cuál, cuál es la, la información que usted estaba tratando de ingresar para saber si hay alguna relación con si está correcto o no? ¿Cuál era sí, la yo entiendo que hay que poner el nombre, el nombre de las personas, okay. uh -huh. pero me da error. En the number two, uh -huh. este, I, I think it's Carla. 
en nombre por Sergio, pero me da error. Mm, okay, okay. It says back in high school has to take a test and it's not prepared for it. So you said it's mm -hmm. Carla, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. And for number four, feeling overwhelmed and worried about something, you said it's Sergio. Well, let's do something. We're going to listen to it and then we're going to, um, you know, confirm if your answers are correct or not. Okay, let's listen. Oh, just let me make sure that I'm sharing the sound. Oops. No, what did I do? It's not that. Yes. Give me a second. Eh, let's listen and let's see if those are the correct answers. Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place, but still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well. I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over, so I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is the end of CD1. Okay, so in this case, right, uh, pretty much... Give me a second. We listened to a whole conversation, but we're... We're listening to two different dreams, right? So the question is, whose dream do you think is scarier, right? So the two dreams were, you know, kind of overwhelming or that gave you the, the, the sense of, um, you know, being overwhelmed. But then in part two, right, we have to identify, right, um, who is the person who went back in high school and has to take a test? It's not prepared for it. And who is feeling overwhelmed or worried about something? So let's go ahead and listen to this part. Let's see. Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school. So, ¿cómo le dijo? Listen again. Uh, I think it's Sandra, right? Recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, what's her name? Sergio. No, her name. Carla. Carla. No, 
Listen. Tate. Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, her name is? Kate. Kate. Very good, okay? So that's the reason why, uh-huh. It's not taking your, your answer, right? Because her name is Kate, okay? Now let's listen, okay? Let's listen. The, 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 here, what we need to identify, because we have two people in the conversation. So one is Sergio or Sergio, and the other person is Kate. So Kate, it's the one that is telling us that she has a dream that she goes back in high school or she goes back to high school and she has to take a test and it's not prepared for it. And that she missed all the classes throughout the year, you know, of the sub of math, I mean, she misses all the math classes, right? Uh, so that's the reason why she's not aware of it. Ahora bien, whose dream means feeling overwhelmed or worried about something? So pay attention again to the conversation, please. Well, I had one last night. Hey, Sergio, do you ever have recurring dreams? Yeah, sure. Why, Kate? Well, I had one last night. I'm back in high school, and in my dream, the school looks mostly the same as it did, but much bigger. The weird thing is, although I'm 23 years old, I'm back in high school with all these 15-year-olds. It's very embarrassing. No one seems to notice that I'm much older and shouldn't be there in the first place, but still, it's very uncomfortable. I keep thinking, what am I doing here? Well... I know it must be the end of the school year because everyone is talking about final exams. And that's when it hits me that I've forgotten to go to math class all year. And there's a big math test today. Oh, that's terrible. Yeah, I'm totally unprepared. So I start to go to class, but then I realize I can't find it. No matter how far, how many hallways, I just can't find it. I know I'm late for class and this really worries me. Finally, I wind up in my math class, but it's almost over, so I've missed most of the test, and I think I'm going to fail or something. Basically, that's the dream. That's a bad one. Do you have that dream a lot? Sometimes. I guess it means that I'm worried or overwhelmed about something that is happening in my life. Yeah, I sometimes have this bad dream. I guess it's really a nightmare. I'm in danger, but I'm not sure from what, and I can't move or scream or anything. I can feel something coming closer and closer to me. You know, it's really strange, because usually in the dream, I'm exactly where I am in real life, like in my own bed, in my bedroom, and everything is very realistic. The only part that is dreamlike is that I can't move. Sometimes I can't even open my eyes, or I can only open one eye. Usually I have to alert someone or possibly save someone, although the person often changes. Anyway, I can't do anything because I can't move. It's really terrifying. Yeah, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. So listen, he is describing what he believes his dream is about. Okay, so let's listen to that uh, short piece again. Uh, it sounds terrifying. So what do you think it means? I'm not sure, but you know, I think the dream means that I'm feeling there's something in my life that I can't control, although I feel like I should be able to. Once I had the dream when one of my friends was very sick and I just felt completely helpless. I hate feeling that way. Yeah, I know what you mean. This is the end of CD1. Okay, so before, right, she explains or gives an idea of what she considers, you know, the reason why she's dreaming uh, about that. So who feels or it's feeling or considers his dream or her dream means feeling overwhelmed or worried about something. Is this Sergio or is it Kate? Kate. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's Kate. Very good. So if you click on send, you see the two options are correct. Okay. So I don't know if I, um, 
if I was able to answer your question. Contesté su pregunta. Yes, teacher. Thank ah, you. Yeah. You're welcome. Excellent. ¿Alguien más que tenga eh, preguntas de la plataforma o algún ejercicio específico? No. Okay, no problem. Bye, right, chicos. Let's go back here. And yesterday I was sharing with you that I, I want to do um, work this one with you, right? So let's go ahead and work here in a matching uh, phrasal, uh, okay? So it says match the phrasal verb in the question with the correct definition, right? So we have burned out, cam down, shield, oops, uh, Chill out, drop off, break up, race off, sleep over, and turn in, okay? So I'm going to give you four minutes for you to match them. And after that, we are going to check all of them. So if you have any question, please let me know. Let me just set the timer here. Let's set it for five minutes. Yo creo que lo van a hacer antes, pero igual, in case you need more time. So there you have, there, there you have, I'm sorry.
are you ready guys time's already up i was working on the same exercise too i have already um completed let's see if we have the same answers okay so what about number one volunteer for number one can someone read it and tell me the um the matching phrase okay what's the francisco i think it's letter d letter d can you read it please and tell me yes lose all your energy very good and the sentence is do you ever burn out from too much work very good exactly right so you can definitely say do you ever lose all your energy you know after a lot of work very good exactly so in this case number one is going to be letter well let me see i think i'm going to use this section over here to add the text um, okay so number one it's letter d uh-huh let's continue with number two number two volunteer for number two number two volunteer Thank you, Marce. It's the letter A. How letter. do you calm down after an argument? Very good, <clears throat> letter A. So it's the same, right? Become calm, right? Because whenever we're angry, we need to relax. You know, we need to breathe deeply, right? To kind of relax our body because we feel stress at that moment, right? So whenever we're angry, just let's avoid saying things because when we are angry, we say many things that then we regret. Thank you very much. What about number three? Number three? Number three, volunteer. Anyone? No one. Hmm. Okay. If you want, I'll go ahead and do it for you. So I think number three, it's letter F, right? And as you could hear that famous phrase, chill out, right? How do you chill out after a rough day? So how do you um, take it easy after a rough day, right? So take it easy means like to, you know, um, you know that you have a lot to do but you need to chill out, you need to take it easy, you need to um, kind of relax a little bit, right? What about number four, volunteer for number four? Thank you, Jensi. Diga me, Jensi. Letter H. Letter H, number four, it says, uh, do you drop off quickly after you go to bed and you said letter H, go quickly? Mm, yes. No, actually, it goes with a different letter. Va con una letra diferente. Um, letter... Um, e? No. Oh, well, yeah, letter E. You're right. You're right. I was looking at a different number. Huh? Number four, I have it with letter E. Uh, fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Do you fall asleep quickly after you go to bed? Do you drop off quickly after you go to bed? Good job, Jensi. Thank you so much. What about number five? Number five? Letter B. Okay, who's speaking? I'm sorry. Sandra. Ah, Sandra. B. Okay. In this case, number five for you, it's letter B. Okay. Very good. Let's see what letter B says. How do you perk up when you feel sleepy? Or how do you find more energy when you feel sleepy? Good job. Very good. What about number six, guys? Number six? Number six? Letter H, mm -hmm. go quickly. Very good, right? So do you race off as soon as class is over? 
that sounds a lot like me when I was in, uh, uh, in at the university. So do you go quickly as uh, soon as the class is over? Yes, I was that type of a student. What about number seven? Number seven? Volunteer for number seven? Number seven? Come on, two more, two more and we finish the exercise. Letter G. Letter G. Let's see what letter G says. How often do you sleep over at a friend's? How often do you stay for the night at a friend's? I guess at a friend's is that reduced, but at a friend's house or at a friend's place. Muy bien, letter G. And the last one, obviously, that's going to be letter C. C, right? What time do you turn in on the weekends? Super weird, but uh, what time do you go to bed on the weekend? Okay, so here you have, you know, the answers, right? And um, the question is, what do you do in this case, guys? For example, um, whenever you feel, you know, um, probably out of energy, right? And you just feel burnt out, right? How do you relax? What do you do to feel more relaxed? Whenever you have, you are stressed or whenever you uh, feel that burned out syndrome. So what do you do guys to become calm, to feel better? Yes, Sandra. I pay for a, a massage. massage. Yeah, definitely, right? So you have a massage. I mean, uh, Massage in la palabra, massage, right? A massage, that's totally right. Okay, and especially, um, you know, whenever we feel that it is affecting our health in a way, it's it's better to go to, I think that the pronunciation is chiropractor, right? So um, it, it helps a lot. Good, good. Actually, I like it. Anyone else? It's yes. The massage is better than medis medicine. It's better than medicine. <laughs> yes, actually, I think you should avoid, you know, using a lot of medicine, right? So if it's, if you can find natural ways to feel better, perfect. Thank you, uh, Sandra. What about the rest? Guys, what do you do to feel more relaxed whenever you had a bad day? Taking a shower. Okay, yeah, take a shower, right? So whenever you take a shower, then your body feels more relaxed, especially if the temperature of the water, it's warm, right? Okay, very good. What else, guys? What do you do when you feel stress? I drink tea. Okay, tea. What type of tea, Sulma? Mm, mm, mm. de Leon. Ah, Dandelion. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sirve para este, conciliar el sueño, dice ahí, las propiedades, algo así. Yeah, that's totally right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think it's Sandilion. Let me see. Yeah, Dandelion. Se escribe así, ven. Going to type it in the chat. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's totally right. I have heard also that some people uh dandelion that some people make jam uh -huh. como, como jam out of dandelion and that it's delicious that's what what uh, an american woman once well north american woman once told me that it, it tastes delicious okay what else what else do you do guys share your tips and secrets okay I, I'm trying to think what to do whenever I feel stressed. Um, probably what I do is try to concentrate on a TV show or, you know, looking at, at, at a series or, or a video, right? And try to um, not forget about, you know, uh, what is bothering me or forget about all the workload, 
but at least to um, give a break to my brain. Because whenever we feel stressed, especially because of workload and you know different situations, we tend to you know uh, feel overwhelmed, and our brain needs a break. And that's what I do. I think in my case, that's what I do. And also, uh, I try to take a nap. But if I am too or very overwhelmed, I wouldn't be able to um, to drop off quickly, como dice ahí, ¿verdad? To drop off quickly because it, it's very hard, like, not to think about, you know, certain situations. So, um, guys, that was about, you know, the things that we uh, had for today. I'm trying, as I said before, to cover you know, some of the topics that were not included in the platform and that are included in the manual. And I think um, it, 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 in a way it helped us, right? To learn new words, to learn new things. This one was very interesting. I really liked it, right? Este me gustó bastante because uh, we learned new um, phrasal verbs. De hecho, eso que vimos acá, para serles honesta, eh, the ones that I knew were burned out, calmed down, chill out and sleep over. Esos eran los que yo conocía. Luego, drop off, perk up, race off, and turn in. I just, uh, you know, um, found out about them through this manual. But the the other ones I knew, the, well, half of them I didn't. So I hope you were able to learn something new. We will, um, you know, uh, check this tomorrow. We still have more material to cover. Right, and we will uh, talk about it later. So right now I'm going to pass the attendance again and I'll be, you know, finishing with the class. For the ones that don't know what dandelion is, this is dandelion, right? So it's a flower, right? Oh, dientes de leon. And it, it is said that it contains, you know, uh, properties, relaxation properties, or chamomile too, right? Or manzanilla, decimos en español, en inglés decimos chamomile or chamomile. I think both, both options are correct. Okay. So, Alba Dir Portal Díaz. Here. Thank you. Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Here. Thank you. Ana Francisca García Nieto. Present. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Present. Uh -huh. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Eh, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank Present. you. I escuché. Present. Present. Ah, okay. Thank you. Um, Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. José Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you. Maria Susana Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you. Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de Paz. Okay, give me a second. I uh, know aquí is present and here it's not, it's absent. So, Ros, I mean, no, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you. Jensi Marlene Leon Lopez. Present. Thank you. Sulma Beatriz Pérez Galdanas. I'm here. Thank present. you. Y nuevamente, sí, Jensi, aquí le puse que está presente. Y Rosa María del Milagro Pérez de Paz no está entonces, ¿verdad? Okay, very good. So, guys, thank you very much for joining today. Let's meet tomorrow. No olviden completar lo que les haga falta. Así que it was nice listening to you. Have a good night, guys. Take care. Take care. Thank you, too. Bye-bye, guys. See you tomorrow.